Hello everyone and welcome to Craftworks. Today I'm going to be using the Adventurous Sky uh, stamp set and dies. Um, I'll just give you a quick run through. So we have you always lift me up to my friend, happiest Father's Day, flying by to say hi. You're the best, plain and simple. Happy birthday. Each of these images have a die that cut them out, including the, the three planes. And this image here is just like for a background. I'm assuming it, it looks to me like metal uh, knotted together. Not knotted together. What's the word? Nailed together. So I've not actually used that stamp yet. But um, I think that would look really cool in greys for a background. These are the dies. Now the dies are actually really quite cool. So... These two here make up the aeroplane, and this is the one that I'm using today. There's this one here that cuts two propellers. You've got your various clouds, like I told you, and then these ones cut out the dyed image. And this one here fits with this die, so it's like a, a sign flying across the the sky which would be attached to a plane so that's really cool as well and this actually fits the happy birthday perfectly so I just move it out of the way uh, it's a fancy fold that I'm making and I'm going to show you one that I've made previously which is this one here and it folds completely flat for posting so you would fold it like that it stands up like that and it's just a really cool card um, so it's Father's Day tomorrow so I thought I'd do a man card so if you're watching this today which is Saturday the day before Father's Day you can use anything you like to create this card so that's why I show, I'm showing you this one it's with the tool set and I'm going to make one using the aeroplanes. Now, I have all of the written instructions here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that here. Wait for it to get into focus. And you guys can take a screenshot. If I move bits and pieces out of the way. I don't know that you're seeing that very well so let's just get started and maybe I'll just go through all of the measurements with you so I'm going to pop that <clears throat> right here so for the first piece we need an 8 by 6 piece of card and we are going to score this at 2 so 8 by 6 and on the 8 inch side you're going to score at 2 and 6 and then we need a ruler and I'm just looking for a pencil which I don't seem to have I've got a glue pen regular pen somebody has been up in my room and moved bits and pieces around just bear with me while i try and find a pencil here we go and now what i'm going to do is i'm measuring one and a half inches from the bottom and from the top okay so, and I'm just going to put a small pencil mark, sorry, one and a quarter, don't listen to me, one and a quarter, so there, and there, Ooh. and now I'm going to pop this in my trimmer, and I'm looking for that one and a half mark one and a quarter god oh, i wish i could stop saying that so the other way to do it <clears throat> obviously 
pop it into your tremor at one and a quarter and what we're going to do is we're going to cut from this score line to this score line and I'm sorry it's not a very nice day today and I do have all of the lights on but um, it doesn't seem to be helping very much so that's our first one flip it around one and a quarter take it to that score and then back to this score and then there's that piece now what we need to do is we need to score down just in this section here so this is what your card should look like and now we need to score this piece here and these pieces here and here so this piece we're going to set it at four inches and we're just scoring the top piece like that bring it down do the bottom piece can't actually see if I'm that's that piece and now this here we're going to set it at three inches and we're just scoring that middle can't see it very well three inches And then again at five, just the middle. It's gone over there, but you know, you're not going to see that. And now I'm just going to fold them. So I'm going to move that out of the way. And there it is so now to decorate I've got various pieces using the um, designer series paper which is called take to the skies it's 12 by 12 and believe me when I say this the paper is really cool I love that piece there's all kinds of papers in here and I did make a project using this one with um, Knight of Navy which is here so they look really good together because I'm not a huge fan of Old Olive but um, when you pair it with Knight of Navy it actually looks really cool so for our patterned paper what you need is two strips and these measure five and three quarters by one and three quarters then you need four pieces that measure one and three quarters by one inch then two pieces that measure three and three quarters by three quarters which are going here and here and then the middle panel is three and three quarters by one and three quarters which is going in there like that so I'm just going to pop these down with some glue I actually do have a tape runner now and I see loads of demonstrators using it and I, and I suppose it's really quick but I'll be honest I, I can't trust myself oh look at that so occasionally your glue will do this where it comes out super super quick and it's usually to do with heat and you should always store your Tombow facing downwards the nozzle facing downwards 
but um yeah when it's quite warm although it's miserable here in Southampton today the temperature is still quite warm I think we're going to get a storm I, I can see out the window now all the trees are starting to to move and so I'm just going to pull this one up just a piece don't know that I got that particularly didn't get that straight at all so I'm just that's the joy of Tombow is you can move it around still not straight there that's better and now we want these pieces Yeah. and so you've got a nice checker on the back so I've put a piece of grid paper down today because um, because I'm working in my little light box I thought it might make it easier because I do get a bit of a glare from the lights I thought it would improve your visibility So this is actually once you've done all of your scoring it's actually a really quick art quick card I'm struggling to speak today My son has just cleaned his car, so that can only mean one thing. He's going on a date, I assume. Because he wouldn't clean it any other time, that's for sure. So I've got a white piece here, and this measures one and three quarters by five and three quarters. And I'm going to put that here somewhere to write on. And then I'm going to decorate the front. So I'm going to show you how to put one of the aeroplanes, well, the biggest aeroplane together. There we go. Right, so if I get my die cut pieces now. I've used stylish shapes, which I'm going to set this here, but I'm going to decorate the white panel with some uh, clouds. And then I've cut out my aeroplane. I've used Knight of Navy and Pecan Pie. And if I just put this together like this for you, you can see that you're not going to put glue on all of this. So my advice, if you have this set, is to put some glue on this back piece here, this piece here, on here, but n just the top piece because it's it overhangs there, and line up the wheels. So put a small piece of glue here, here, and just on this front nose piece here. 
so and I'm just going to be really careful with this because obviously I don't want loads of glue so I want it all over here a little piece on there and that piece there and that's it and now I'm just going to line it up and that's our aeroplane it's quite cool isn't it and now the propeller I'm just going to put a tiny amount of glue in the middle here quite a lot and I'm going to line it up like that and there we have I'm just going to move that there and that's our aeroplane done I've cut that in silver now for this piece I'm going to get the cloud stamps and I'm going to use Knight of Navy ink. Oh that's a horrible sound, sorry. And then that will position. Oh, look at that. There's space up there. So just fill that piece in. So now I'm going to stick the white piece to my blue piece. Because this is a fancy fold, I'm not um, popping this up on dimensionals just because I think it will just make it all a bit too thick. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just here in the middle, position that going that way. Actually, I'm going to move it across a touch more. And I'm going to position that there. So I'm only popping glue in this middle piece. Make sure I line up my clouds. And just give that a few seconds just to take hold and there it is there is a gorgeous card now you could put your sentiment down here one of the things that I did on a previous card was I actually stapled you lift me up on a banner type which I thought looked quite cool so there it is Thank you for joining me today and I hope you will give this card a try. It's really easy, I promise, but it's really, really cool. So, and don't forget, it folds flat to go in your envelope, just like that. Thank you for coming along today and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.